What is up, Virgos? Long time no see. I am glad to be back. I apologize for my long MIA. If you have not yet checked out the All Signs video, um, there's some updates in the beginning. They're not long. It's probably like less than five minutes of what's been going on. Um, I'm getting a lot of emails lately f asking for free readings. No, I do not do free readings. These readings in itself is an extreme amount of energy. Takes a lot out of me. Sorry about that. Um, eh, any tarot reader who does this, you know, as a job would not give out, you know, free readings. You know, that's like going to the store and asking for you know, food for free or, or, or something like that. You know, you, that, you just don't do that. And people that are in my inbox emailing me, telling me it's, you know, it's an emergency. Well, you know, I'm human too. And if you did take a look at that All Signs video, you would understand that I have a lot going on in my life right now. And it would be truly appreciated if you guys could just appreciate what I'm putting out now. Okay. I know it's not all of you doing that, but it's just, you know, I get a handful of people, you know, saying and it's, it's an emergency, you know, I need your help. Well, I have a life to live and I have kids to raise, so, and school. So, definitely take a look at that video. There's a lot of updates in there, and there's also guidance for this week. Um, and I've found that videos can, the energy can extend, like, even way after the date that it's supposed to end um there's no time on the amount of there's no amount of time where the energy should stop and end if that makes any sense okay so after that spiel definitely watch if you're virgo sun moon rising or venus so this is going to be love for virgos from now until july 4th and love Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love from now until July 4th, Spirit. Alright, and these, whenever cards slip out, I believe it's a message for someone, okay? Someone could be very sharp with their words, okay? Someone may want to communicate with you, Virgo, or you may want to communicate with someone else. It very well could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius coming at you with truthful communication. Maybe they're a little bit snappy, um, or this is you taking on this energy, you know, kind of maybe lashing out at someone or coming in to speak your truth, or they are. Keep in mind, your energies can be the same. You mirror each other in relationships or whoever you're dealing with. Oh, yeah. Somebody's definitely got something to say here. Somebody's definitely very stressed out, maybe holding something back. Maybe they do want to say something, but they are conflicted, okay? So that's a message for someone, and I hope you get it. All right, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from now until July 4th. And love. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love from now until July 4th. One more. Alright, let's see what's up. Keep in mind this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. I can't make it happen, guys. It's just not possible. Um, the messages that come out, I can't control those either. It's what spirit gives me to read. It's what people are going through right now and people need to hear it. So, um, private readings. No, I do not do those yet. As of yet, my life is too crazy. If you are new with me, I go in with the after tarot for future predictions that predict the future way out. And then if anything shady is going on, even if it's not, we do pull from the Terror of Sexual Magic to give you a little bit more. And these cards are a little, you know, R-rated. So if you don't like that, definitely click off or don't watch the ending. But I do give you guys a lot of information. So the overall energy here, wow, 
Ace of Wands, okay? So there is some passionate energy here. Definitely could be a new beginning with someone, or this could be wanting a second chance with someone. The overall energy, a lot of passion here. Um, yeah, it looks like somebody's making a decision that they want to have a second chance with someone or have a new beginning with someone. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of, yeah, could be the father of your children, could be an Aries Leo Sage. Could be someone significantly older or younger. Um, let's see. Definitely could be the father of your children. Definitely could be someone... Yeah, it looks like there may have been a third party in the past. And maybe like a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius got cut out. Or someone got cut out that was too domineering, too controlling here. We'll figure it out. We clarify everything here. Ooh, so current energy right now is the Page of Wands reverse. So you, Virgo, could be communicating with someone or somebody's communicating with you. This is usually bad news. This is usually like someone saying, I, you know, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <clears throat> this could also be gossip as well. We'll definitely clarify a lot of fire energy. Aries Leo Sag, it doesn't have to be. I just like naming them for you guys. So thoughts and concerns for Virgo is the strength card. You definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Again, it doesn't have to be, but somebody's definitely maintaining their strength, maybe holding back from saying something here. We'll figure out exactly what it is. That's on your mind and your thoughts and concerns. So basis of the reading for Virgo is the Four of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is holding on to something here, whether that be money Somebody could be holding on and stashing money. Somebody could be holding on to a secret or holding on to a relationship that they do not want to let go of. Any one of those, okay? Because it's a general reading. In the past, for Virgo, we have the Two of Pentacles. So somebody was definitely trying to weigh, the, weigh up their options here. This definitely could have been between two different people. Um, somebody, you know, trying to make a decision on who they wanted to be with. This could also be trying to, you know, balance out finances here. Yeah, it looks like somebody got turned down here. Either you turn someone down, Virgo, or vice versa. So what's crossing Virgo, what's holding you back or influencing you negatively or positively is the Nine of Pentacles. So being single. Do you want to be single or do you want to be in a relationship? I also tried to record on <clears throat> my new phone last night. It has an awesome camera, but the way I set this up in here, it doesn't hold it so well because it's so big. Um, and there was this energy coming up of maybe somebody owing someone money here or being reliant on someone in a relationship because they had money. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with that situation, but what's kind of holding you back or what's pushing you forward is being single and doing it by yourself financially here, having the strength to, you know, you have the strength to, okay, or you know, your partner does, however, it resonates for you guys. So going into the near future, this is a prediction. This may play out by July 4th. It may play out before then. It can even exceed July 4th, depending on your situation and depending on free will. Is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Okay, so there's going to be some type of offer that is turned down here. Um, this is definitely in regards to love. This is a long-lasting, tangible, buildable relationship here. Something you can build upon, okay? Someone is going to turn it down, whether that be you, Virgo, or whoever you're dealing with. This is also money related, like somebody turning down money, a new job, work promotion, anything of value here, someone turning it down. All right, so other current circumstances for Virgo, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We're going to have to clarify this because this could be one or two things. You could definitely could be dealing with a player, somebody who's not being sincere here. Definitely could be a water sign. It does not have to be. Or somebody is all together turning down a love offer here. So external to Virgo is the Ten of Swords reversed. So someone external to you, Virgo, is very hurt, 
backstabbed, felt backstabbed and betrayed. They are now healing from that situation here. Healing, healing, healing. Um, This could also be your energy as well, Virgo, because you do mirror each other, like I said. So hopes and fears for Virgo is the Queen of Swords. Definitely could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius um, that has not taken any bullshit in your hopes and fears. Um, definitely two people here. Okay. Or you're dealing with someone that, you know, needs to have the strength to speak up and not put up with any bullshit here, male or female. It's like in your hopes and fears, it's like, do I cut this person out? Is this person going to cut me out? You know, am I going to get called out? Because this person right here will definitely call you out on your bullshit. Or if you take on this energy, Virgo, it doesn't matter if you have air in your chart or not. You definitely could take on this energy and be like, you know, I'm not. I'm going to call someone out on their bullshit. And you definitely, whoever had that message come out with the Knight of Swords, it's like somebody definitely has something to say. So clearly you're hoping for it or you're fearing it. Okay. So this person may definitely speak some truth in your hopes and fears. You could be hoping it or fearing it. Only you guys will know. So the outcome for Virgo is the Seven of Wands reversed. So you're not going to be, either you or your partner is not going to be standing up and fighting for something anymore. Um, this could be someone that's not having to be guarded anymore let's see what the next card is yeah five of cups reversed so it's almost like yeah somebody's like going to be giving up and not fighting for a relationship and they're going to be getting over some type of emotional pain some type of emotional hurt grief regret remorse here healing is the outcome virgo for sure so let's clarify and get more information yeah it looks like some of you guys may end up stuck here. So let's see in the outcome. Definitely definitely give time for these energies to play out by July 4th. Like, it's frustrating in the comments when people are like, you know, this doesn't really resonate yet. Yes, it can definitely most likely succeed, exceed, excuse me, succeed, exceed July 4th. It just depends on your situation. All right, so let's see. Why is the Two of Pentacles here in the past for Virgo? Usually I don't, I haven't been clarifying the past, but I feel like this one is important. Why is the Two of Pentacles here in the past for Virgos in love from now until July 4th? Wow. Okay, definitely could have been someone at a distance. Yeah, I think someone wants to heal a relationship now. Somebody definitely could have been dealing with someone at a distance or traveling to see family at a distance, traveling for work here. Um, maybe somebody has gotten a new car. That could be, that's not going to resonate for everyone, but I see it here. In regards to love, I'm seeing cancer. Aquarius, Sagittarius, but it's like somebody was trying to like decide whether or not they had love for someone. They were losing hope and faith in maybe someone at a distance, maybe due to family or stability. They, you know, maybe this person had a lot of money or they had a lot of money within the family or they lived with this person at a distance here. Sagittarius energy as well. Damn. Okay, so let's get one card. I don't know why Spirit makes it so difficult for me. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit? Just one card for Virgos? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely... I don't know why. There was definitely secrets, okay? Somebody was not expressing their emotions. There was definitely a love offer. Somebody wanted to express their love, whether that be you, Virgo, or someone else. 
but it looks like they kept their emotions to themselves. Okay, there's definitely two people here. We've got you guys, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be dealing with another Earth sign and an Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, these did fall sideways, so someone definitely could have been being a player in the past. Somebody definitely could have been being greedy, and it caused some type of heartbreak betrayal here. But it's definitely looking like somebody wants to reunite with you, Virgo, or you want to reunite with someone else in the recent past, but there was some type of betrayal. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and Earth. Alright, so let's keep moving. What is this bad news? Why is the Page of Wands reversed the current energy for Virgo's spirit? Why is the Page of... Thank you. Yeah, the Fool reversed. Somebody does not want to start this relationship. Someone doesn't want to start it here. Um, somebody doesn't want to take the risk. They're worried. They're contemplating being single, whether this is you or your partner. Somebody feels like the relationship, yeah. Somebody feels like there's secrets here. They want to offer their love, okay? But they feel like there's secrets or they're keeping their emotions to themselves because they're trying to battle their own demons or they believe the relationship is too toxic. Whether that is, you know, cheating, talking to other women, talking to other men, um, drug use, alcohol use. Somebody's trying to get rid of this here. Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag again. But it looks like somebody's getting turned down here. Why is the Four of Pentacles? There we go. So it could be a Sagittarius that's keeping money or holding back, holding something back here. It's like somebody is was just trying to heal, but they're still holding on to you, Virgo, or you're holding on to them. Yeah, see, somebody's stuck mentally driving themselves crazy, like, I can't let go of this relationship. Somebody definitely spoke some truth, or somebody needs some clarity here. But somebody's holding on to something. It very well could be money as well. Tell me more about the uh, Temperance card. I don't know why this is coming to me, but this could be a message for some of you. Not all. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But somebody could be, hold yeah, like using someone for money, like while they're in jail. Or holding someone's money while someone's in jail. That's not going to resonate with everyone. Why is the Temperance card here for Virgos? Yeah, someone's definitely trying to let go of negative things from the past. Toxicity. Somebody's definitely jealous. And somebody definitely wants money. And it's definitely showing up as a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Here. They either owe you money or you owe them money, Virgo, however it works. Or you were involved with a relationship with them and it was just all negative shit from the past here. Especially with the devil, like, and secrets. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Like, somebody is trying to battle their own demons or it was a toxic relationship, emotional, physical abuse. Somebody was too controlling. Somebody was manipulative. Um depression, you know, anything that's too much of a good thing here. Definitely someone jealous here as well. But I feel like somebody's still trying to offer love here. So let's see. Why is the strength card in Virgo's thoughts and concerns spirit? Why is the strength card in Virgo's thoughts? Thank you. Wow. King of Swords Reverse. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who's abusing their power here. Someone that's controlling, that's domineering. Maybe even to the point of being emotionally or physically abusive here. Or someone, if that's not the case, you're thinking in your head, I need to have the strength to cut someone out of my life. I need to have the strength to make a decision here. Or you could be thinking that a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Leo is lying to you. Yeah. 
and your thoughts, you're like, I don't want to wait on someone anymore. I want to turn my back. I don't want to wait anymore. Things are unstable in a marriage or a higher level of a commitment, a relationship. Things are not stable here. It's like somebody's not optimistic about it here. I don't think someone's showing their emotions like somebody wants them to. Plus, you've got, like, somebody who's jealous and pissed off over the past and money. Definitely could be a Sag. There's a Sag card is here. But it's like, maybe some, that person may be offering an apology to you, Virgo, or you're offering an apology to them. Either way. Either way, excuse me. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles crossing Virgos from now until July 4th? Yeah, the moon again. So someone is not expressing, okay? There could be two things holding you back. Secrets, someone not expressing their emotions, whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with. And maybe somebody just wants to stay single and focus on their money here. Yeah, I see a turn down of love. Like somebody doesn't want to take the take a risk. You definitely have a love offer coming in, Virgo. Definitely could be from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but there was some type of betrayal, okay, that somebody's holding on to. Definitely could be again I'm seeing an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries Leo Sag. Some type of third-party betrayal here that's holding someone back. Someone needs to express how they feel. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed for Virgos going into the near future spirit? Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed for Virgos? Thank you. Wow, you have the King of Wands here. And I don't like that because you have the Queen of Wands down here. This is crazy. Some of you guys could have had court cases as well regarding children. Not all of you. That's not going to resonate with everyone. Maybe someone lied in court. I don't know why I'm getting that right now. But you definitely got an Aries Leo Sagittarius here or somebody who is very charming attractive, male or female, okay? And it looks like they're going to turn down your offer, Virgo, or you're going to turn down theirs. Yeah, somebody is going to be too heartbroken to accept love here. Or there's another person in the mix here. Or you guys just want to focus on your money. You don't want to focus on love. Somebody definitely wants to reconcile here. There could be a lot of partying as well, or a party in the near future, but somebody's holding on to you, Virgo, or you're holding on to them. Scorpio energy. Aries Leo Sag. Tell me more about this fire sign. Why is this King of Wands here for Virgos? Maybe this fire sign isn't getting the money that they want still in the near future. Why is, um... Why is the king of wands? Thank you. Oh, yeah. I think this person, someone's definitely got a problem drinking, okay? Toxic toxic habits, okay? It looks like somebody's going to get... I know, you know what? First, first thought, okay? I think someone has toxic habits here. I think somebody is very arrogant, possibly. Somebody could drink a lot or do drugs here, which is causing them major confusion and causing them not to fight for something here. Money, 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 money. Somebody wants a positive change, a, a change. Somebody definitely wants a second chance here. But you've got an energy here that is coming in and out of someone's life. Coming in, getting what they want, and leaving. This definitely could be one night stand type energy. So, 
someone may not want to fight for this going into the near future. That's why they turn it down. And maybe that money is too important. Whether that's you, Virgo, or whoever you're dealing with here. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So somebody's definitely not being sincere. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed for Virgos? Spirit, from now until July 4th. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? Thank you. Yeah. There's going to be an ending because of this. It's like you guys have had enough. You guys are going to be turning this down or another earth sign is. Or you're turning down another earth sign. I'm getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially Taurus. It's like somebody does not want to commit. So it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Yeah, I'm seeing blocked communication also. Yeah, and someone being rejected. Wow. All right, so let's see. Yeah, someone's not being sincere in love at all. So, yeah. And Dunzo. So let's see, why is the Ten of Swords reversed external to Virgos? Why is the Ten of Swords reversed external to Virgos? Those don't feel right, guys. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed? Why is the Ten of Swords reversed external to Virgos? Why is the Ten of Swords external to Thank you. Yeah, we've got the tower, okay? So someone external to you could be causing a lot of drama, chaos, upheaval. Yeah, somebody somebody may be silent right now, not expressing how they really feel externally to you, and they're choosing to walk away. They're making the decision to walk away here. Maybe they were juggling two different people, but things are going to come out. It's like they don't even give a shit. <clears throat> but maybe this person is married, okay, or has a happy home elsewhere. It could be with another earth sign here. But it's still, I'm seeing reconciliation unless this is a third party externally to you. But with the tower here, whatever was built on faulty foundation, the universe is going to come in and, and rip it apart here. And someone's going to be healing from some type of betrayal. And it definitely could be third-party betrayal. So it looks like somebody is not communicating right now. And that may be what's holding you back. So let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords Scorpio energy as well? Why is the Queen of Swords in Virgo's hopes and fears? Yeah, it's like you want... You guys want somebody to communicate or you're thinking of communicating here. Yeah, it's like you want someone to tell you that they don't want to be in this relationship. They don't want this love offer or you need to tell someone this. You're not happy. You don't want this love offer at all. Or it very well could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, you've got so many people here. Yeah, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's stressing you out. Or you're stressing them out. And yeah, I'm seeing a lot of other people here. Definitely third party betrayals here. I still feel like somebody wants to reunite externally to you, Virgo. But it's like somebody's not communicating. This could also be your energy too and the way you feel because you do mirror each other. So tell me about the Seven of Wands reversed for the outcome for Virgos from now until July 4th. That one wanted to flip. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Here you guys are. You're going to be moving on, protecting yourselves here, moving forward. Definitely could be moving forward with, or somebody's not going to fight for you anymore. Yeah, see, someone's not fighting anymore, so it's leaving someone confused. They don't know what to do. Definitely could be another earth sign. 
coming towards you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about the Knight of... Thank you. Yeah. See, someone does not want to build on a relationship. Yeah. The two threes here. There is definitely a third party betrayal. So somebody's turning their back. They don't want to build on a third party relationship. And with the four of wands reversed, it's causing things to be unstable within a marriage or a relationship here. Or somebody's married. And somebody's definitely not getting the attention that they want or a victory here. Like, I feel like somebody's missing something here. Somebody is in the dark about something because there is something that needs to be spoken, okay? The secret needs to come out here, and it looks like somebody is getting ready to say it, all right? This may happen by July 4th. It may even exceed. It looks like somebody does want to stop fighting with you, too, like hurting you with their words or vice versa you're hurting someone else with their words like stop that bullshit and have real communication here pisces gemini libra aquarius energy taurus virgo capricorn and leo wow guys all right so let's do future predictions for virgo from now until july 4th future predictions for virgo wow would you look at that Somebody's words is definitely going to hurt someone intentionally. I think somebody's going to come out and say, I don't want to build on this relationship. Bye. All right. What do Virgos really need to know in love from now until July 4th, Spirit? All right. Somebody wants to move on from someone, but they cannot. They can't mentally. Or somebody wants to move out of a home, but they can't. Or they want to travel, but they can't. Yeah, no second chance here with someone. But somebody's getting... Uh, let's see. What's coming in for love for Virgo? What's coming in for love for... Thank you. Yeah, somebody's got a decision to make about a relationship. A Gemini could be coming in. It doesn't have to be. Or someone needs to make a decision about a relationship, especially those of you involved in a third-party relationship. Could be an Aries Leo Sag that is being manipulative from the past here. Somebody definitely could be wanting to come back from the past. Let's see. What else do Virgos need to know and love from now until... Thank you. Wow. Stability. I think somebody's going to stay in their marriage or stay committed to one person here. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Sagittarius, but someone is not healing or Taurus, Aries, any, any sign. I just like throwing it out there for you guys. Someone's impatient and doesn't want to heal the situation. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Wow. So there is a potential for marriage. I think somebody may be living with someone, okay? Or maybe y'all are married or in a committed relationship, and it's like somebody may turn their back and no longer want this anymore. Or it seems like the same shit keeps happening over and over and over. Definitely could be with another earth sign. And look, yeah, whatever somebody's holding on to, would you look at that? This guy, scared, male or female, scared of money being taken from him or his feelings being expressed. Like, that's going to come out. That is going to come out. And that a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius may expose that for sure. Or somebody who's very emotionally detached, doesn't really express their emotions, does not put up with bullshit. They've been hurt a lot, male or female, in love. What else do Virgos need to know and love from now until there could be divorces here also, now that I think about it, or someone's leaving the home. Yeah, see, somebody wants a second chance with someone here. 
One night stand type energy, guys. Someone needs to make a decision. Who is this judgment with? What sign, spirit? Who is this judgment with? Thank you. Would you look at that? Somebody wants a second chance. After they heal or after someone forgives someone from third party betrayal. You've got all threes coming out here. And it looks like somebody is going to come out and speak rather harshly. Like put it out there like this is how it's going to be. I'm not going to take any bullshit. Like, if you want a second chance, you're not messing with me anymore. What sign is coming in for Virgo's spirit? I know it's general, but let's see. What sign is coming in for Virgo's? Ooh, that's way too much. What sign is coming in? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Someone's going to be making a decision against two different people, and someone will be healing. Something isn't over yet, though. Somebody is still emotionally holding on to you or vice versa. Crazy. What is this decision? Who is this decision about? Could be an Aquarius. Or somebody is going to be losing hope and faith in a situation and dropping someone. Or choosing not to heal. And give this relationship a second chance. Somebody wants positive change. Positive movement forward. Yeah, because you're dealing with it. You're going to be dealing with a player here. Aries, Zeo, Sag, Cancer. Mm, somebody could be dealing with someone at a distance. All right, so let's see. Tarot of Sexual Magic. Wow. And of course, I open up to someone dealing at a distance. Okay. So, Virgo, if you were dealing with someone at a distance, or if your partner was, they want a second chance with them. Whoever has a family with someone, I feel like that's who they're going to stick with. Wow, I just got chills. Okay. Alright, can Virgos trust this relationship spirit? Who's involved in this relationship? Can they trust this relationship? From now until July 4th in love. What do Virgos need to know in love from now until July 4th? Yeah. Magician reversed. Either somebody's not making a decision and doing and being all that they can be, or somebody's being straight up manipulative here while they're choosing to talk to someone here. I feel like somebody believes somebody's intentions aren't pure. Somebody's coming off too cold and manipulative here. Yeah, after some type of cheating or lying. Definitely could be dealing with... An Aries Leo Sag. All right. Is there a third party? Will there still be a third party after July 4th in Virgo's relationship? Okay. Somebody's going to be depressed over it here. Someone's going to be depressed, okay, and upset, clearly, because of what has happened. Somebody's going to lose interest in someone here. Somebody could definitely be very controlling, Definitely could be dealing with the father of your children or somebody significantly older, younger. And again, with the justice card, there needs to be a, a decision here. A fair, balanced decision for everyone involved. This could be legal cases as well, like with the father of your children. You guys will be getting out of your head regarding someone who has an eye for other females or other male males. Definitely coming up as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What is this justice card here for? For Virgos. What else do Virgos need to know? Yeah. Someone came off very, very, very intimidating. I'm telling you here right now. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But somebody was... Very intimidating, domineering, controlling. Somebody could be literally be going to court here. 
yeah, you guys aren't making yourselves available. Someone's not telling the truth to you or you guys aren't speaking up and telling the truth here. There could be communication with an Aries Leo Sag, especially a Leo. Who else is involved in this relationship? Tell me about the lover's card for Virgos. Actually, you know what? Tell me about this. Ooh, I didn't even see this. Five of Wands reversed. So somebody was definitely looking in on a relationship here. Ooh. Tell me about this Five of Wands reverse for Virgos. From now, thank you. Yeah, see, somebody, someone knows what's up, okay? You guys know, or your partner knows, or their third party knows, but they're not letting go. Whoever was peering in. Definitely could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. But, like, somebody's losing their, uh, yeah, Aries Leo Sag for sure. It's not over, though. And then we've got your card, Virgo. So it's like being depressed. It, it, it either happened to you guys or vice versa. There's a third party somehow. Just take a look at that card. He is upset because there's two people doing something, something in the background here. Tell me about the tower for Virgos. Scorpio energy. Yeah, see, somebody's in fantasy land fucking around sexually. Tell me about the tower for Virgos. From now until July 4th, Spirit. Tell me about the tower for Virgos. Thank you. Yes. Um... Hmm. Guys, you may not be telling the truth or you may want to give someone clarity because it's like ripping their their whole world apart here. If you don't want to be with someone, communicate it or it's another earth sign or they have earth in their chart. It, it could be any sign on the table. But somebody doesn't want to commit and they're not telling the truth. But shit is about to blow up. <sighs> tell me about... Tell me about this Two of Pentacles reversed for Virgos. Yeah, this person is making it external to you. This could also be your energy. But somebody's making a decision about somebody they just dealt with from the past. Somebody's holding on to their past or going back to their past. It definitely could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's purposely hurting themselves by being in a controlling maybe emotionally or physically abusive relationship here and somebody has got an eye for other people wow guys crazy ass reading so let's see best advice for virgos from now until july 4th Yeah, look at that. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Someone needs to express their emotions for sure. Reconciliation. Someone's coming back, Virgo. After a period of deception and unrequited love, you guys will know what's up. If you're in abusive relationships, please be careful. It's like somebody's purposely hurting themselves. Yeah, look what just came out. Wait. Within the next few weeks, if you guys are asking questions, helpful people. Okay, within the next few weeks, helpful people. Ask for help from others. Okay, guys, this is what's coming out. Any other questions that people may be asking for Virgo who are led and drawn to this video? Wow, guys.
Any other questions that Virgos may be asking? Spirit. Peaceful resolution. Look for a sign. No. Wait and no. On the bottom, forgiveness. All right. Let's see if we can get anything on this reconciliation. Who is it that wants to reconcile with Virgo? What sign is it? Even though this is general. What sign is it? Sun, moon, or rising? Okay. Definitely someone with blocked communication right now that wants to return to you. Or you want to return to them, Virgo. But there's blocked communication. Somebody feels left out of the... In the cold, they're trying to let go of toxicity, maybe codependent situations here. Yeah. Again, somebody's holding on to heartbreak here. Too mentally stuck in their head about heartbreak. Definitely separated from this person. This person definitely could be in isolation right now. This is either you or whoever you're dealing with. Definitely could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somehow they're in they're in the mix. Somebody may want to offer an apology here. That's what I'm getting. All right, Virgo, that's what I've got for you guys. Definitely like, share, subscribe. Share your comments down below. I love reading them and interacting with you guys. Um, definitely check out the All Signs video, and I will see you guys in July. Take care, Virgos.